Hello again and welcome to the video on how to build your own Gantt chart in Excel. I've recently built this uh, free template and I just want to show you how it would work and how the calculations work. So just to show you what I'm looking at is I've got um, starting dates, days to complete, uh, the end dates automatically calculated, uh, who's using it, who's responsible. And just to show you the interactive nature of it, um, if we change time to complete, you can see that all the things are automatically adjusting. And we've got color coding here. If I change, uh, I've got a few people in. If I change Jill to Joe, you can see the color changes. And I can also have progress. So if I have uh, Joe's done that one, completed, it shades out. If he's halfway through that, um, it, it, it half shades out, etc. So it's, it's quite interactive. Okay, so how do we build this? Okay, so I'm assuming obviously the, the, uh, the headings are fairly straightforward, more the, the technical side here. What I do with the dates, I tend to use formulas. So I have a starting date which I set at the top for the template, and you can adjust that, and you can do it by weeks, months, or years. So if it's days, this goes up by, by one. If it's weeks, this goes up by um, seven full days, etc. Okay, so that's just coming off a, a lookup table. So that's uh, what's the date, and then look up um, how long that is. And I've got a table over here at the side, right over here. So it looks up day, we had one day, weeks, we had seven days, months. That's the average number of days in a month and number of days in a year, roughly. Um, so that's how that's calculated. Okay, and what I do here is I that's fixed, but then I have formulas. So uh, this start date starts at the end of that. So that's so it's not actually a, a number. So I could say it starts three days later. So it's that plus three, and you can see there's a there's a gap there, etc. Okay, I'll just undo that. So the start dates are interactive because of that. So what are we doing in here to create this? Because if I, like I said, if I change the number of days, it automatically pushes out. We start on the second, one day, two days uh, to get there. What's happening? Okay, here's the formula. Okay, I've just got an if error thing on the outside, and that's because if there's any any um, thing that doesn't make sense, it's going to just come back and make it a blank cell. Okay, so if there's no data here, for example, uh, the dates aren't fully completed, uh, there'll be a blank cell. And then what it's doing, we've got an if and function, and you can see that there, and I'll put a copy of that into the... Um, into the uh, information below and you can see I've just brought up the formula there and it's connecting the the start date the end date to to this range here okay so we need two things to be in play so that's why it's, there's an end two conditions must be be met okay so is the start date before 3rd of February okay so the second yep is before so it's potentially a live task and is the end date uh, after this uh, first date there. So there's two dates. So what's happening is it is this live, when is it live? So again, we change the number there. It's just the and statement, if and statement, which is correcting it. So as I said, I will put that in the, the link below and you just align the dollars, uh, sorry, the, the cells to the, to the, to where yours are. Obviously mine's down at 28, yours could be a lot higher. And then you put the dollar signs in uh, to make them anchored or absolute references. So when you copy uh, this formula down all the way across and down, um, the formula still stays on the, the appropriate dates up here and along here and along here. Okay, so how do I then when I change somebody? How's the color changing? Okay, what's happening under here? is that they are all 
um, there's numbers under here. It's obviously giving me a number, which I'm then using conditional formatting to, to color code. Okay, so if I bring up my conditioning formatting rules, which is there, you can see I have a lot of rules. I actually got 75 rules in this because there's up to 15 people you can have and up to five levels of progress. So uh, if the cell here comes back, it's one. I want that color. And I'll just go up there, the 15 people. And then if there's, um, for number one, if it's 25% completed, shaded a little bit, 50% completed, give it a bit more. 75% there and this one's actually fully completed but if I do that it becomes number two which we've already got a color for so I've used 199 for um, patterning so all I'm doing is going in and saying cells that equal a particular number I can then format the color I can uh, format the pattern etc so I can pick a pattern style and a, and, a, and a color. So that's all I'm doing. And I'm doing that, as, as you can see, 75 times. Okay. Um, so how do we get the variation of numbers? So I've got a plus 28, BH28. So what I've got right at the side here, I put this, this formula. Uh, it's picking up these two numbers, it's picking that one up and that one up. So it's this one here is a lookup table for the person involved. So we'll come back to what I've done. I would normally hide these things here, but it's looking up, um, in this case, it's Joe. If we come down, we'll see Joe. Joe here is in green. And Joe is worth uh, two points. Now, he's the third one on the list, but it's two points because I've already have if there's nobody listed here, that treats that a blank because this is optional. If you want to have a person or not, that treats it as a one. So I'll, Joe gets two more points. So he ends up having a three listed here. So I'll put Joe in there and um, that'd be three points for Joe. Now that on my conditioning, Sorry, let's go to conditioning manage rules. I was asking me for current selection, which is here uh, where the rules are. Manage rules, you can see Joe is worth three points and that turns green. Somebody else, John, will turn the next color up. So John is worth three plus the one that's already in the cell. Um, if there's a date there, it picks up the cell, which is picking up from this if and statement. So if the if the task is live at this frame, this point of time, give me a one. So I'll start with one. If there's nothing there, it's a, it's a, it's a zero. It didn't meet that and condition. Um, so therefore, it doesn't go anywhere. And I put a blank in there, so um, nothing will populate there. So how do I pick up? So I pick up in the first one, which is a lookup table, and it gives me three points for for uh, John or Joe, whoever I'm using. This is the, the points of that person. And this one here is how far complete it is. So again, it's going to a lookup table over here and going, okay, what's been put into the cell? How far? And what number do I pick up? So let's just work through the first one exactly so let's put up that is jill and she has 25 percent progress so if we go to our conditioning you can see we come down to there it is a cell value if it's 2.25 give me that so that's what's happening so it's sitting under here is 2.25 so that's a one point because the project is live. And then I come across here and it's another point because the first person is Jill. So let's just see where that's coming from. Okay, Jill, it's worth one point. And then finally, 
it's one quarter completed so give me which is coming from over here it's coming up from this look at table so these are sorry these are just look up tables here you can see look up the person look up the pro progression and that's giving me 2.25 sitting underneath that now we can't see the number 2.25 under there i blank that out and the way we do that is we go into custom on our formatting and i've got custom and i've typed this in three semicolons once i do that that makes the text underneath uh, invisible so there each of those cells will actually say 2.25 but we can't see them so basically that that's how it works um, and then we, we are good to go I've built these, these are optional. If I take these out, everything becomes a one, which is just off the lookup table. There's no person, there's no progress. So I can do a very, very simple Gantt chart and it gives me that flexibility. Or I can change the color, change the progress, update it. So these are optional. So, you know, I can have it progress without a person or progress with a person. Okay, so hopefully that, that's helpful. And what I do at the end is I just copy it, paste it in into, in, into here as a, a, a picture, etc. Um, if I want to freeze it, I just go to that cell there, view, freeze panes, and I can hold it that way and hold it that way. And then, of course, I can unfreeze it when I want to work on it. So you can build this. I built this out for free, 50 dates uh 50 task and then you can format uh the dates on however you want the dates to appear and there's obviously lots of dates options under data under custom as well so basically that's it you build a a um a gantt chart very easy uh excel does not have the standard uh built-in functionality so this is a good way of doing it